been watching Air Guns Extreme. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back to Air Guns Extreme. Um, sorry if I have like uh, <clears throat> a cough and a little bit of like uh, like a uh, cracky voice. I'm just getting over sick. Um, I don't know if I'm really sick or it's just my allergies that are kicking in. But uh, anyways, I want to come to you guys and talk to you guys about something. Um, basically. I have a squirrel video that was just uploaded today. Go check that out. That was over at the Proving Grounds. I was with Buckmaster. He has a video uploaded. So go check out them videos. Um, we just been getting into squirrel heaven. I mean, we just... Every time we go out to the Proving Grounds, we see squirrels everywhere. Um, and... We went out again tonight. We each got one. It was just a tough, tough night. We went out about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Stayed out until about 4.30, almost 5. The squirrels today just weren't moving, I think, because the temps were dropping towards like 3 o'clock. When we left here, it was like 45 degrees. We got there, it was down to 41. So, that might have just shut down the squirrels, but we did manage to each get one this afternoon but the squirrels to me just today was the very first day where I just didn't see as many as I did yesterday me and Skyler total yesterday or I counted I might be a little bit off but yesterday I counted about a hundred squirrels that I saw and I could have easily limit it out in about a half hour but I was being picky yesterday and only shooting the real big ones so basically what I'm going to show you guys here today is both of our squirrels that we got. Um, and then I'm going to explain to you guys what happened to mine. So here's my um, real big mature one. Um, big old female. So anyways, we went back into this other part of the woods and... I walked down, there's a river bottom that's in the back of that woods, and yesterday we walked back there, we didn't really see any squirrels back in there, so we just left, but today, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to work my way over there, so, just as I was, I stopped to pick up, um, or I stopped, and I was just standing, I would take maybe about five stops, stop, get out my squirrel call, call a little bit, and then stop and look, and uh, at that time, I made it over to the river bottom. And I was getting going there. I was probably about 100 yards away. I caught a squirrel about maybe 300 yards away from me running on the ground. So I hurried up, walked over there, didn't see this sucker. I got my squirrel call, started calling again. Didn't see him. I'm thinking, where the heck did he go? And next thing you know, I stopped right at the river bottom. I'm looking down at the bottom see if there's any squirrels down there nothing now I go over and I slowly turn over to my right here is this squirrel on the ground looking right at me sitting on its hind legs like this just looking at me um, so what I did is I had my 870 12 gauge with me and at that point my gun was unsafe the whole time I had shell loaded in it and it was unsafe. It's just easier to carry around with a safe gun on safe. Um, it just, to me, it's just way easier. I'd hate to have bump into a tree or hit a branch and it pulls my trigger and there goes the gun off. So I had it on safe. Um, at that time, I raised it up. He spotted my movement. I was probably about 30 yards away. And I had a Winchester Super. X or no federal federal premium six shot game load so I had one of them loaded in and he caught my movement of my gun going up I put it on fire I clicked it on fire he heard that click he decides to start turning he turns and next thing you know I look 
here comes five of them right in a line coming right towards this guy towards this girl um, so I hurry up and I'm watching these other ones they all spot me they all stop and they're looking up at me and next thing you know I put my bead right on it boom pull the trigger this girl does a 360 degree turn falls over I rack that empty shell out rack in another shell she gets up runs and I go boom again shoot again falls over gets back up the third time and then or second time and then it gets behind this and it gets into this thicker stuff and it stops and it's looking around and its tail is going like this real crazy looking and I'm thinking it got hit when I saw it do a 360 degree turn I thought I hit it on the first shot I thought it was going over got up the second time ran um, then the third shot drilled her she decides to climb up the side of the tree and that's uh, that was a dumb move for her she climbs up the side of the tree give me a wide open third shot i smoke her um dropped her right out of the tree got up to her and i waited about oh, i don't know probably about five minutes and just stood there i knew she was down i'm thinking maybe those other ones will come back out and come over towards this one and look well, they did it. So, <clears throat> that's the reason why I use a Remington or game load for these squirrels. Um, you want to use like a six shot. You could use a seven shot, but I think a six shot is way better. Um, it's just a bigger BB, so it really knocks them out fast. But uh, I have Skyler Squirrel here too. He, he wants me to clean his, so I'm, I told him I would. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you his. His is a little smaller than mine. So right before I right before I spotted this one, um, Skyler shot. I called him. He's like, yep, I just smoked one. He was probably about 300 yards away from me. And next thing you know, it was dead calm. I hear boom, boom, gunshot go off. And then I called him. He said, yep, I got one. So here's his. I don't know his story on what happened with his. He said he got a one shot. These are some nice fox squirrels. Um, real big tails on them. He got the winter coat on them right now. So they're real big, real thick coat. Um, they're really cool looking. Um, this Saturday, we're going on a hunt again. Um, and basically, we're going back out there probably going to take some shotguns again and um, basically try to get our limit early we're going to go out Saturday morning about 9 10 o'clock and see if we can get any and then uh, um, if that does happen I am going to have a special guest with me um, I'm not going to tell you guys at this moment well I guess I could it's going to be my girlfriend she's coming out um, and I'm going to let her shoot probably the first squirrel that I spot or if she sees it before me, I'll let her shoot it. Um, she's never really shot a squirrel before. I think she might have maybe one before. But uh, it's it's a real fun. I mean, small game hunting is just as fun as deer hunting. I mean, it's just, it's easy because you get to walk around. And deer hunting, you just basically want to sit and be lucky enough to have a deer come in front of you within shooting range. So squirrel hunting small game season is really, really a fun time of the year. Um, but, like I said, I'm going to have her probably shoot the first squirrel on Saturday if one does pop up. Um, and then, um, I guess we'll see what happens. But, uh, <clears throat> one other thing I just want to give, I want to give a couple shout outs here. Buckmaster Outdoors, Windwalker Outdoor Channel, um, Shoot to Kill Outdoors. Uh, junior Squirreler, we, uh, me and Skyler were talking to Junior Squirrel and Shoot to Kill Outdoors probably about, uh, the other day, I can't remember what day it was, but we're thinking about putting on an Elite Channel. An Elite Channel is basically, we will be having a small outdoor channel, um, and basically you will get paid for it um 
it's not going to be a lot of money, but it's still going to just be a little bit of money. But uh, basically, it's just going to be like a elite, like uh, hunting channel. It's not going to be as big as like uh, um, like the outdoor channel, but it's still going to be awesome. We're actually going to set that up here in the next couple weeks or so, and then uh, basically have videos going on that channel and it'll be probably some deer hunting videos on there small game um, pest control I have to actually talk to some people um, I have to talk to shoot to kill outdoors get some more information on that but uh, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to that should be some fun times with that um, and Basically, like I said, this Saturday we're going back out. We're going to give it the rest of the week to calm down out there. Um, so we hunted it pretty hard two straight days in a row. Um, so we're just basically going to let things get quiet out there. Um, not have people go out there with shotguns in the middle of the week and fire them off. But uh, anyways, guys, that's it. Um, and I guess we'll see you guys this weekend. Um thinking about middle in the week um, do uh, um, another review another shooting review um, I'll just have to see what the best day is um, and then we'll basically um, see what day works out the best um, I will be having my camera with me on Saturday getting some sick footage have my GoPro on the gun um, on my 870 so um, I'm pretty pumped about Saturday and then Sunday um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys Sunday we're having my birthday party <coughs> um, it's not gonna be anything real good because my birthday is not on Sunday it's actually on that Tuesday so I'll be having some people over and then uh, <coughs> probably take you guys with me why not um, and basically show you guys my birthday I actually do have a birthday video up from last year um, that was when I got my 22 nitro venom um, so go check out that that was a long time ago that was geez last February so that was a heck of a long time ago but uh, go ahead and go check out that video probably be similar to that one for this year um, I'm not really sure where we're planning on going, but we're going to go somewhere, so it should be fun. But uh, anyways guys, you're watching Air Guns Extreme, we'll see you guys at the next one.